as you come into the air park on Ledbetter Road, if you look to your left, right as you get to the V between Ledbetter and Richardson, you can't miss us. When you pull into the parking lot, if you look toward the center of the building between where the fire trucks are parked and where the walk-in door is, you'll see this beautiful monument that pays respects to the events of 9-11. It's 2005, we received a letter from the New York Port Authority. We could get a piece of the World Trade Center. We didn't know we were gonna receive it till 2009. We started talking and said, look, why don't we get a committee? So we asked for volunteers. One of the county career chiefs, Henry Moore, said he was in. They number the piece, 122, 123. Ours is 128, and it was in chalk. Well, one drop of water, that would disappear. So when we had the memorial made, we had the welder go through and weld that back in there as a bead so it'll forever be seen on our piece of metal. One of our members at the time, his career was a welder. His company allowed him on duty to take this piece of metal, completely grind it down, with saving all the grindings. And we took that metal, melted it down, and made necklaces out of it for the members of the committee. And it was kind of like the air park came together and made this happen. It's a community memorial to me. And um, it, it means a lot. We wanted to remember the Pentagon, Shanksville, Pennsylvania, the United States military, and of course, the city of New York. Henry Moore said, you know, why don't we put it right there? And we went, what are we gonna do with the ugly well top? That's when the idea of making a top for the well that had 93 on it with red for the blood of the lives lost. When we started out, we started at the ground up. We decided to um, lay pavers down and those pavers were laid in the shape of the Pentagon. And when you look at it, the memorial sits right in the middle of that. And on the top of it actually has two towers that go up. At night, they look huge because the shadow throws up against the building and makes it look beautiful at night. The flagpole is for the military. A flagpole in the United States military usually has a gun at the bottom of it. Um, we don't use guns, so we did a fire nozzle. And then on the top of it, we placed the truck. Every year, we come here a couple days beforehand and we soap it down, we put rust-oleum on it, we scrub it, we wash it. It's just something we feel like we need to do. My wife and I have done a lot of things. Her and I can't put a finger on something that we've really done that could be above this. I think it's great for people to come by and look at it, but that's half the story. Every firefighter has to know that when that tone drops and they get on that truck, it might be their last run. 343 men and women of the New York City Fire Department that day ran toward that. And so when these guys come through the academy, they hear about 9-11, they learn about it. Every day that they get on that truck, they have that same pride that those guys had that day. That's why we can't forget it. We're lucky to have the monument. It'll be here forever.